Hello humans. Two weeks ago I toured up to Dundee in Scotland. I was playing a really cool bar in the city called Clark's, but today we're not going to talk about what it's like on tour, we're going to talk about art. My best friend is an art student in the city. Our relationship goes back a long way, we've been best mates for quite some time. I've known him for about 75% of my life and we've always had an important connection. We were both very artistic. I believe a large part of the fact we're both on artistic career paths is because of our influence on each other. When we were teenagers, we'd go to the park and, you know, philosophize about life like you do when you're a teenager. In fact, we could have been straight out of a teen fiction book, it was so cliche. We'd grown up in a very middle class town and seen people work all their lives to fit into this status quo of houses, families, taxes and responsibility. At some point, we decided it wasn't going to be us. We wanted to live lives where we added something more than a number for a demographic to society. We didn't want to be statistics, and so we began creative lifestyles. Dan is in the final days of his degree. He and all of his classmates are working towards their final grades and perfecting their pieces with what remains of their four years at university. They've learnt the theory, they've had time to gain an idea, a context about their art, and now they have to put something visual into the world. Being at Lipper in my final year was the same, everyone was head down and focused on what you had to do. The creativity was palpable, and being in that environment was like swimming in a river. It was all around you. It fills you up and gives you this frenzied energy. Being close to creative energy is like being close to God or Nirvana. I've been out of that situation for quite some time and I'll tell you what, it's really addictive. I don't know what it was about the art school but I felt this surge of creative energy that I hadn't felt for a long time. Maybe it was the fact that everything in there was visual so you literally were interacting with art everywhere you went. It was made more intense because I was seeing people actually make their art right in front of me, seeing the brush strokes. I remember watching Dan draw at school, it was like watching faces that were already there reveal themselves from obscurity out of the page, like pulling back a curtain. Seeing moments like this is incredible. It feels exciting, like I'm a voyeur or something, witnessing a person's innermost self come out through art. When I write songs, I try and get into that place to feel the joy of that moment, so looking around the art school, where that moment was plain to see everywhere, was really exhilarating. Being in a gallery is exciting because you see the finished piece and you can share a space with it. Like live music, you can feel the piece in that moment and bear witness to it. But it's all very clinical. The soul in the piece in the gallery is refined and fixed. Here, everything is laid bare. You can't make art without leaving everything behind. The most emotive piece I got to prime was this. A gun made entirely by the artist out of wood and foam and other working parts. It fired as well and he took these photos. There's something unnerving about this but also funny and surreal knowing that a practically homemade gun with a working sight and everything can fire at these guys just standing there taking target practice is somehow morbid, empowering and humorously idiotic at the same time. But just to see that piece as a technical work of skill and craftsmanship was enough. To know it actually served a practical purpose was frankly awe-inspiring. Dan's work wasn't set up when I was up there, but it's installed right now. I'm going back to see it soon, so I'll take some footage for you. It's a work of projections and light called Loon. I'm really excited to see it, and knowing how much effort Dan's put into it, I'm sure it's going to be an incredible piece of work. I can't wait to be in the space with it. Living a creative life is tough, but the rewards for me are obvious. I get to live my life in a way that I'm comfortable with. I owe a lot to my family for helping me on this road, but I also owe a lot to Dan for giving me a sounding board, a confidant, a helping hand, a believer, someone I could travel this journey with. I can only hope I give you all that as well, mate, because I wouldn't be where I am without you. Best of luck, man. I'll see you at the show.